lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Okay. Yom is a term that is defined on the basis in the creation narrative in Genesis from the Hebrew text, or lahoshek, or lahoshek, from light to dark. Okay. Now we know that John's gospel shows us the role of the Lord Jesus as the true light in the creation and of the Holy Spirit in the creation moving on the face of the water. But Jesus is that light, light to dark, or lahoshek, okay? Wherever you have an or lahoshek, it is a yom. It doesn't matter the period of time. For instance, we have a prophecy in the book of Amos, chapter 8, that it will become dark at noon. We've explained this on various of our tapes. How could Jesus have been three days and three nights in the tomb if he died on a Friday? Well, quite simply, at noon, the sun went down. It could not have been an eclipse, either solar or lunar, because it was the 14th of this sun. It was the wrong point in the lunar month for it to be an eclipse. It couldn't have been an eclipse. But then the sun comes up again when he's off the cross. So when Jesus is crucified on Friday, okay, the sun goes down once at noon, but then it goes down again Friday night. That's two days, two yams or yamim in Hebrew, okay? He's in the grave. It goes down again Saturday night. You got three days and three nights as the Hebrew counts time. Technically, if you can believe it, there's actually halakha, rabbinic instruction for Jewish scientists working in the Antarctic or the Arctic because a day <laughs> is six months. There are certain periods where God intervenes with time. In the book of Revelation, we are told a day will go from 24 hours to 16. A third of the day and a third of the night is going to disappear. In the book of Joshua, God intervened with time. One day became two. And also with Hezekiah, God made the sun go back and intervened with time. It is wrong to say a day necessarily has to be 24 hours. It is only light to dark or lahoshek, irrespective of how long that period is. Now, this idea of or lahoshek, light to dark, has something to do with Jesus as the true light in the creation, the spirit moving on the water, and then a darkness. This becomes applied eschatologically and figuratively in Scripture, particularly in the book of Revelation, but also elsewhere. Okay. Hence, you have the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is not a single day. It is a period, a period, when God pours out his wrath on the kingdom of Antichrist once the faithful church has been removed by rapture and by resurrection. The light is gone. The light of Jesus is not there. God is now dealing with Israel again. It is the day of the Lord because you've gone from a light, the true light in the world, present in the church by the power of the Holy Spirit, it's gone, now it's dark, light to dark. Hence it becomes figurative in its meaning, the day of the Lord. That is the reason. It is always based on the creation narrative, light to dark. The amount of time or the amount of hours or the amount of days or the amount of anything is not what's important. What's important is or lahoshek, light to dark. That's what's important. Now, I believe in a literal six-day creation. A literal six-day creation, I believe, 
in six periods of light to dark, God created the universe as we know it, the biosphere of the earth. But the book of Genesis does not tell me that those days are 24 hours. Now, I don't believe in theistic evolution. I don't believe that because that would require death, and death came as a result of sin. I don't believe in theistic evolution. I believe in creation. But how long of a period the day is, that varies in Scripture. It varies. In Joshua, it was 48 hours. Revelation, it's 16 hours. In Greenland, it's, it's six months. It's going to be a period of tremendous darkness. It's going to last at least three and a half years at the end of the age. The light will be gone. Or Lahoshek, light to dark. That's the reason. That's the meaning. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.